This is ZNS Total Sports, your source for sports in the North. Good evening all, I'm Ramiko Knowles. Topping sports, it's that time of year for track and field with Island Sports taking center stage in high school sports. Jay Philippe was at the track for day one of competition. The 2020 Grand Bahama Secondary School Athletic Association Track and Field Championships officially underway at the Grand Bahama Sports Complex. The Tabernacle Falcons are your defending champions both in the senior and junior division and they are looking to repeat. First track event of the day was the Junior Girls 2000 meter finals. This one was all tabernacle as Aaron Barr ran away in first place with a pretty impressive showing. I think I did awesome. Um, I just want to thank everyone for supporting me as I hear. Um, came through the curve. I heard everyone scream my name would give me, give me more support to finish off strongly. Next on the track was the Senior Girls 3000 meter open race where Karifta Hopeful and Kaya Lightburn from Sunland convincingly won this one. I'm grateful for the win and I'd like to thank Coach John for training me for this race. I'm training for Karifta to hopefully make the team and better my time. Over in the junior girls high jump, this one was a tight one with the top three jumpers in a battle for first place. But ultimately, it was Kail Gray that emerged as the winner with a leap of 1.57 meters, just short of the Carifta qualifying standard. Last year, when I come second, I was like, it wasn't enough. So I just work hard and hard work pays off when I um, train with my coach, Mr. McNabb. So it was all, all together a good win. Back to the track now in the junior boys 400 meter dash. Joshua Williams wasted no time taking the lead early on and never looked back as he finishes in grand style, running away with the first place in the first of two heats. I thank God for blessing me to execute this race with all my might. And I'm looking forward to go to the finals this year. Now to the junior girls 80 meter hurdles. Look out for lane number two as Sunland finishes strong for the win in heat number one. Now on to heat two of the Junior Girls 80 meter dash hurdle, again lane two, is where the action is happening, getting off the quick start out of the blocks and just cruising her way to the finish line. Finally in the intermediate girls 100 meter hurdles, look out for the Jaguars off St. George's in lane number three as she hops and skips in heat number one, pushing her way to the finish line in an easy win. Day two of the track and field championships will begin at 9 a.m. with Bantam Boys short put, long jump and javelin. Then the 200 meter heats will follow on the track and also the 800 meter finals. I'm Jay Philippe, Zernes, Total Sports. Track and field Grand Bahamian Sprint Sensation Divine Parker and the Ohio State University track and field team won the Big Ten Women's Conference Championship. Divine is coming off of her best season as a collegiate athlete and continued her dominance by running two personal best times in the 60-meter dash and 200-meter dash. She finished second in the 60-meter dash with a time of 7.36 seconds. She also finished second in the 200 meters in a time of 23.24 seconds. With those time, Parker qualifies for the NCAA Indoor National. And that wraps up sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Amiko Knowles. Until next time, make it a great one.